Hi guys, welcome to a Journey Now video. We did take a tiny little bit of a break there. Um, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that uh, new moon in Aries, like holy, talk about baggage removal. So um, that's what this video is gonna be about. Uh, there seems to be a pressing need they are saying for this video today um, in that a lot of us right now are really struggling. We're feeling those emotions and those releases are manifesting on our physical and into our landscapes or our environments. Like we are seeing those removals as they are being released and uh, it's quite... Uh, Quite the experience, is it not, you guys? I mean, we're being put through the ringer, so to speak. So today's video, um, we're gonna be talking about a few different things. This video is actually about releasing timelines, and um, they want me to say that not just one or two, this is multiple layers of timelines. And so there's a lot of viewers out there with many questions about release. This is gonna play into that. Um, also, just to let you guys know, some funky stuff has been going on. I've been losing a ton of messages. There's lots of you viewers that I'll read messages and I'll go to respond and they're just simply gone. So I don't know if you guys are experiencing these little blips in technology. It literally is because 3D technologies are having incapabilities of processing the energy levels that are coming off of us and that are actually filling up our spaces, our homes, and so we're seeing a lot of technological errors. That's what that's about, so I'm sorry if I haven't answered questions you've put on there. Like, we do try our very mm. best to answer you guys. So today's video, you guys, releasing timelines, um, integrating the shadow self, belongs here as well so let's begin we have an activation a light language imprint activation for integration of the shadow self so we're going to begin the video by um, exposing that onto you guys that you may um, download that self integration of the shadow so let's do that first so here's the visual imprint guys So you can look at that multiple times whenever you feel the need. If it's only once, that's fine too. Totally whatever is something that you're resonating with, that's what you're going to do. So let's begin. I have so many, so many people, I swear they have been in a lineup waiting since I opened my eyes this morning. They are really wanting this information to come out. So just allowing them in if you guys want to hold some space as well that we can join together they say people unite right now as we are expressing as we are revealing as we are integrating aspects of ourselves spanning all mm -hmm. timelines and they want me to say that we are really at the forefront they are calling us pioneers of the new world and this is um something that is new that's what that means guys i mean it's never been done this is a brand new era a brand new evolution this is this is why so many of us came here now to be involved with this because it really is um at the forefront at the forefront of universal evolutions so so much interest in this giant shift into 5d gaia um, they want us to know that with being at the forefront of these times we are now having capabilities of excess removals multiple removals of the layers in groups of collectives and so what that looks like guys they say is we are having the ability because it is necessary that we are implementing change within ourselves that is reflecting out into our environments because we create our own environments we create our own realities we are seeing the removals in multiple layers spanning across 
all timelines, all aspects of self. So this is going into any carnations that you are currently existing in, whether they be past, present, future, because again, everything is now. There is no past. There is no future. There is only now and multiple, multiple timelines existing that we are playing into. And so we are being given the opportunity to release old ties, old baggage, all in collective groupings. So before they're saying what it might have looked like is small removals where we might go into past life regressions, those types of things to do these removals. And they would come off bit by bit by bit. And this process could take your entire lifetime in this carnation <clears throat> and go into, again, multiple lifetimes that are currently existing that you are playing into. Now they are saying is the time to become aware that we have been given and are being allowed to release and remove and undo contractually based um, experiences. This is where the video of karma um, that we had done before comes in again because this plays right into that spectrum. Releasing large collective groupings of yourself. And the reason for this being allowed is because we are building that momentum into the 5D shift, guys. And so with that, of course, comes more opportunities of higher expansion points. So they say now is the time for mass removals and that is what we are feeling, that is what we are experiencing. And that is why we're not feeling too hot right now, you guys, like we're suffering, we're getting sick, we're getting agitated, we're getting depressed. It is emotional tidal waves. That's what they're doing. Like they're just lifting me up and down and up and down the roller coaster and we mm. are feeling it fiercely. We are feeling it so heavily that we are becoming confused. They are saying we don't understand as our expansion is becoming more evident to ourselves. We are becoming confused with the down points because they are so disguised. They are so integrated already into the self as they have already been being <clears throat> dug up. And the removal process is starting whether you've initiated it or not. It is happening. There's no choice for people who are expanding their consciousness to become in alignment in 5D. There's no choice. They say this is where you cannot turn back. So we have started the ascension. We have started expanding the consciousness. Once that expansion has begun, you can't go backwards. And they're saying there's many of us right now who are hitting walls of fear because we're realizing um, that we're coming to this place of a higher exponential point of ourselves where we have become more integrated of ourselves in all aspects. And this is integrating the shadow self, guys. So a wall of fear is hitting most of us right now and stopping us in our tracks. And of course, that is by design of the shadow elite. But fear not because it is disguise, it is a mask. And when we're feeling entrapment is what they're saying into our removal systems, um, Understand that when you fall into these places, you might sit there for a while simply because we're not talking about small removals. We are literally integrating all of our timelines that are currently running and have run so before. We are integrating parts of ourselves all over, including integrating our higher selves into one monad body. And that is the avatar that is going to be our 5D vehicle, guys. And there's no way to have a 5D avatar unless we have integrated all aspects of ourself into a unity mobile. 
a unity avatar and that is harmonics that is balance so we are removing massive amounts of contractually based lower vibrational timelines that's what it is guys so what this can look like for you and how you can achieve it even though it's happening regardless of whether you're choosing to do it or not you're going to be feeling it we can consciously accept it and allow it so that it can move through us quickly and more easily so looking at this is going to be a step for you guys but choosing to use your time of self whether it's meditation forms whatever it is that you do to be you really use these times right now to do these mass removals because we're talking about massive releases of karmic contracts that's the pay it forward scale we're talking about release of ancestral timelines so release of connections <clears throat> to lifetimes and ancestral beings so these releases are not necessarily your own releases they are also being um, released at the level of release of ancestors release of the DNA family ties release of the shadow self when we're releasing all of these old lower vibrational aspects of ourself we are creating space in our body to fill up with more light that's that is really how simple that is if you want to look at it and have a tangible idea of what it's looking like we are removing so that we can fill up that new space with more light, giving us a higher vibrational platform, bringing us into our 5D potentials. And so they want us to not get stuck in the fear, to not get stuck in the depressions, and to not get caught up in the physical manifestations as well that are occurring. These are symptoms, physical ailments, aches, pains again the skin I can't even tell you enough and like if I hadn't um, been so involved within this new um, new moon of Aries the whole it's like a that ram with his horns right like whoa it is coming in full force we are stirring the pot so if I hadn't been so um, caught up in that and anyways and had been able to do a video I tell you guys I couldn't have because my face from here down was a giant rash it was inflamed and I mean that is a symptom that happens to me so I'm sure there's a many people out there having serious skin flare-ups right now so rest easy they say it is part of the integration and so they want to talk more about integration of the shadow self so what this looks like in case people don't know is when we are releasing old aspects of our shadow self things that don't serve us in a 5d potential that are weighing us down and holding us into a heavier body. Those are the things that we're releasing. And when we are releasing these things, we have to remember to invite those aspects back in. That is how we receive unity of the monad body. We have to not just release and say, get out of here. Because remember, those are pieces of you. So what you are doing to the release of the shadow self is release and integrate. Bring that part of you back into this body so that you can be working on a clear, full, brand new, higher vibrational 5D template. And you can't have your template if you haven't brought back all of the self and so this also includes our connection to our higher selves guys we're integrating our selves back into a whole back into unity consciousness and um 
I can, they want me to speak about the Lemurians and the Atlanteans, but I don't want to do that. I'm sorry, guys. That's just way too long of a video. I will do a video about those ancient civilizations soon, I promise. But what that is really looking like is your job right now is to invite those parts back. Embrace them. Once those removals are done, don't just leave that part of your fractal being floating away. Bring them back because then you have a full hand, more cards to play with, they say. So that is the importance of the video today. <clears throat> Remember, we're feeling these removals on mass levels. This is, again, at the forefront. This is a revolutionary state of being that we are stepping into. So you're going to feel those things. Please remember as much as it hurts, as much as you're suffering, you will come out of it. I promise you guys, you will come out of it. And now they're saying for those viewers who are wondering, am I being left behind? They say there is no way to be left behind. Please do not feel abandoned by this process of evolution. No one gets left behind. It is simply a matter of, when we're speaking 3D, linear time for you, but of course, there is no linear time, so that means no one is getting left behind. It's just a matter of when we're getting there. Everyone is going to get there, you guys. I know you don't feel that way, but I trust me, we're all going to get there. It's just, on your own time, in your own way. So don't be stuck in that fear of being left behind. They're saying there is so much of that energy right now coming off of um, all of us light beings as we are going through this process. There is fear striking at the heart cord of abandonment. And of course, that comes from the past abandonment, which really propelled us into the state that we have found ourselves needing to be removed from to begin with. So that is where the Lemurians um, and the Atlanteans are coming in. They're just reflecting that as that has been an occurrence before. We are seeing a return to the ancient civilizations. We are seeing a return to the truth of ourselves. So um, I really hope this helps you guys as we're dealing with this new moon in Aries as we're stepping into April because I didn't realize how um, turbulent April was going to be, but I'm sure we are already heavy into it. We all know that now. So let's work with it. Let's step out of it. Let's move that energy. Let's build that momentum. I mean, we're here for you guys to help in any way we can. That is why we do these videos because we are in the same place as you. We are going through the same processes. Let's do it together. Um, with that being said, we're going to have Amber. She's going to do um, a beautiful light language activation for us all so that we may integrate the shadow self, return to unity, return to the whole, return to that collective consciousness that is you. That is our job right now, you guys. So let's do that. Let's bring on that activation. <clears throat> so here's the visual once more. And I just want to mention these beautiful geodes behind mm. us. I'm just in love yeah. with them. I, the energy, it's actually been hard to sit here because yes. I'm itchy because I can just feel the energy. And they're, they're saying they are going to be interacting within this transmission. Yes. And they're saying actually we'll give it so that you can communicate it for so, me. So, I mean, we don't know a whole lot. I don't want to cut her off here. I just simply want to tell you that these geodes are working on you as you view this. This is an amethyst. This is a citrine. I don't know a whole lot about crystals, rocks, except that they are magnificent, but that is not my interest of study. So simply put, if there's any, about, any of you out there who do have that interest, feel free to look up those um, on your own time outside of this video if you want to reflect further on these specific geodes that you're interacting with today. Hey. Okay. Well, they're showing me a symbol if I could just draw it kind of with my fingers. That's new to me. 
Mm. Okay. Ura tara tuvra ankari shikita brada tura 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 ishka a ishka a ishka a in tutu tuvra antara untura tatura tutura 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 ara watata brada ira shika tura ura brada tara ila vada tara ura hara tishki tishki ari tura Abrara tivra, abrara tivra, ukura, 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 shikiti, shira, tuvra, atara, ntara, ntubra, ira, watari, ishka, 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 aratatari, tuvra, mbratata, mbratatari, tuvra, atara, ura, ura, ari, kira, utu, tu, 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 arabrabrara. Ala vabrara, udura, 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 ashkiti, 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 ura, ari, vrika, ashkiti, brara, arututura, arutata, rikara, umbrara, 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 ura, para, vikashki, vikashki, ura, ari, ira, ila, uarata, ura, wata, brashkira, urata, avra, ishi, kutura, Ishi ketura aratata, aratata, aratatura, mbrara, mbrara, udura, mtura, mtuvra, shikara, 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 hurata, brah. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Love you. Thank you and thank you. Like and subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time. Love and light.